Hey guys, it's me, Izzy from Keto Kids, and today we're going to be making the Keto Kids Thick Crust Pizza. I cannot wait to show you guys how to make this recipe because it's our own recipe that we developed by ourselves. So this is gonna be really, really fun to make and I can't wait to show you. We've made almost 100 different kinds of keto pizza and this is our absolute favorite one because it has the Quest protein powder in it. We just got some of this and we decided to make our own recipe and try to use it in a pizza crust. And this one's our absolute favorite recipe out of all of the keto crusts we've made. And this is not egg at all. This is not is not fat head. It's a lot different and it's a lot better. It's the thickest pizza we've ever made, I think, but it has lots of air pockets in it. It looks like a real pizza. It's really nice and fluffy. Also, this would be really good for lunch because you can put a whole bunch of toppings on it and it won't break or anything like that. This pizza is super, super easy to make. It's not soggy at all. And we're gonna make a huge 16 inch um, pizza and that will make about 12 slices. So we're just gonna make a huge party size. Can, it can feed a lot of people. So now I'm gonna show you how to make the recipe. I'm gonna put all of the ingredients down in the description box below. And we only need one bowl for this recipe, which is really awesome and super simple. So let's do this. All right, so we're using Quest protein powder. We haven't tried it with the other protein powder, but you can try it and let us know down in the comments. So first we're gonna start off with four cups of partly skim mozzarella cheese. And I'm going to open up this protein powder and I'm gonna add in two scoops. And we're just using one bowl for this, which is really awesome because you don't have to do it with any dishes. <laughs> All right, so next I'm going to add in five of our eggs into this bowl. I forgot to mention that the Quest is the multi-purpose unflavored Quest mixture because I don't really think you all want vanilla flavored in there. It's kind of gross, but yeah. So now I'm done cracking these eggs in. I'm going to be adding in the Parmesan cheese and we have four tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. You can also add in the nutritional yeast in here if you really like the flavor. So I'm just gonna add Parmesan cheese. And I'm just gonna actually add a sprinkle of this in because I really like the flavor of nutritional yeast. Sprinkle a little bit in there. And now we're going to add in our spices. So what we have here for spices is we have one teaspoon of garlic and onion powder and one tablespoon of oregano. So I'm just gonna pour that in as well. All right, so now that's all in here, we're gonna give it a nice mix. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this until it's all well and combined, and this cannot be any simpler. All we're gonna have to do is just mix it with a fork, and then we're just going to put it on a 16-inch pizza pan, or just behind there, and we're just going to pop that in the oven. So that was a really, really simple and quick recipe so you can make on the spot. So now that it's fully mixed and combined, I'm going to pour it onto the um, pan here. I'm just gonna pour it into the middle. And this recipe is awesome because it has no flour in it. It just has the plus protein powder in it. All right, so now that we have all of our mixture scooped onto the pan, I'm going to just use the back of the fork to spread out all of our pizza. A really good trick to this pizza is starting from the edge of the pan and just pulling it down and holding it because it's gonna slide. And you can just turn it around and keep spinning it until you get a nice um, large pizza. And this is really awesome because it will rise a lot and become really fluffy once you put it in the oven. So that's why this recipe is really amazing. And this recipe never sticks to the parsley paper and it's a lot easier because you don't have to roll out the dough and this one you can just spread it all out and it's nice pizza. Unlike the fat head which you have to roll out and it sticks to the parsley paper and it's really more difficult. But now that we have our pizza all nice and spread out, we're going to put it in the oven at 375 for 15 minutes. So as you can see, this is all done and it only took about two minutes to make it in 
because it only need one bowl, one pan, and it's all done. And we are cooking on ours on uh, a convection oven. So that's the time you would use for a convection oven. It might be the same for on a normal oven, but you might need to flip it around halfway. But now we're just going to pop this in the oven and get this finished. Okay, so it's out of the oven and it took about 12 minutes to get this all and look how thick it is. And once you leave it, it will like, the cheese will harden and become more bread-like. Um, right now it's still pretty hot, um, but it's apparently it's really, really, really good cold. So you can just leave it in the fridge and then you can eat it cold, you don't have to heat it up at all. So if we don't use the convec oven, you might want to flip it over while it's cooking. And see, you can just pick it up like this, and on the bottom, it's pretty brown there, on the bottom too. Um, it's really, really thick, so if you want, you can just put a little bit of cheese on top, and then you can go really heavy with the toppings. This is really, really sturdy. And there's also a lot of cheese in the bottom part, in the crust. So you can, and then you just boil it, you don't have to bake it again or anything. So that's what's a really good thing about this crust. So another great thing you can do instead of making pizza, which we're gonna do right now, is we are going to be making some garlic bread out of this crust. So right here I just have some garlic butter and uh, we're just going to be spreading it on top of this. Um, you can just use it as your regular pizza or you can make it into the garlic bread like what we're gonna do right now. All right, so let's spread this on. I'm just going to spread it pretty evenly and this is pretty much just butter garlic and um, some parmesan cheese in here so now I'm just going to put this in the oven for about a minute so that it can all melt and be delicious and let's do that so here it is nice and cut up and as you can see it's really really thick it's really really bread like as well which is really a nice factor in here you can definitely, if you were going to make this a pizza or even these, you can add a lots, lots, lots of toppings because as you can see, it's really, really sturdy. Unlike the fat head, which you, it will just get soggy and it'll fall apart and it will just not be that good. So these ones are really perfect for if you want to have like a lot of um, toppings. And it's always a bonus that it tastes really delicious. So now I'm going to go ahead and try these. All right, let's try it. definitely tastes as good as it looks and it's really thick it's really fluffy it tastes like regular breadsticks and the like sauce on top is so good like it, it gives it a nice touch otherwise the bread would be like a bit plain but this makes it a lot better and I definitely recommend trying this as breadsticks as well as trying with lots of pizza I mean lots of toppings on pizza and that's all for today's video guys don't forget to like Comment. You're doing video.